Five, they are ubiquitous at rest stops, intersections. They're in songs, stories, regarded by many as a symbol of Canada. I'm talking about the donut. Jen Vinglet, uh, like many Canadians, loves the deep fried confections. Uh, but the Berry teacher is taking her passion to a different level. Jen is one of eight finalists in the Tim Hortons Dueling Donuts competition. Later this week, she and her family will find out if their entry will make it to the top four and maybe even to your local Tim Hortons. She's on the phone now. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Way. Hey, so I take it that you've got to be a donut lover, right? I sure am, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you have a favorite? <laughs> um, Probably the, the apple fritter. Mm. This tradition is delicious. Yeah, I always like the yeasty ones as opposed to the cakey ones myself. I agree, yeah, they're a little bit lighter. Yeah, what made you uh, enter this contest? Uh, you know what, uh, we found it last year when they first did it and uh, and had some fun with it then and uh, saw it saw it this year again and uh my son was really into it he he really wants to do something with food as an adult he wants to be a food chemist he says so, oh i love uh, that how old is he <laughs> he's six and a half <laughs> <laughs> my daughter knew she wanted to be a baker too from the time she was little so oh wow yeah, yeah. so yeah so he, he loves it and he just begs me to do it all the time okay so. how did you guys come up with your flavor uh well Actually, my daughter had the idea first. Mm -hmm. She wanted, uh, she's four, and she loves ice cream sundaes. We all do. And she thought that that would be a fun thing to do, to make an ice cream sundae donut. Okay, so an ice cream sundae donut. Hmm, yes. what's in it? Okay, well, we took the flavors of our favorite ice cream sundae. We did a, a chocolate yeast donut with a banana filling. Uh, and then we topped it with a pr pineapple frosting and strawberry drizzle. And then we put some whipped cream, waffle bits, and, of course, because she's four, rainbow sprinkles on top. <laughs> How does it taste? Well, we haven't tasted it yet, but we do get to taste it tomorrow <laughs> for the first time. So hopefully good. <laughs> okay, so you, you haven't actually made the, the concoction no. yet. You, how, do you, how does this happen then? You go, you go to Tim Hortons Kitchens or something? Uh, it's, it was on DuelingDonuts.ca, and it was... Um, yeah, so we it was a virtual program to design it, mm -hmm. and tomorrow uh, we get to go to Tim Hortons' uh, head office, and they will be their test kitchen will be making them up, and we all get to try them. And on Wednesday, the judges will get to try them. Oh my goodness! I wonder yeah. what that will be like making this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think it will be really exciting. Are so. you bringing the kids? Uh, I'm not. I, I only get to bring one guest, and so my husband's coming with me, but my kids are happily visiting grandparents and aunts and uncles. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, so how many, w w were you set on the ice cream donut one, or did were there other ones that you guys were thinking of? Uh, we created a few others, some silly ones with some ridiculous fillings and toppings, and, and some other ones that would also, I think, have been pretty tasty, but... Um, but this is the one that they really loved the most. Uh, I love the video. I love the video that you created oh, with your family. You've got your little kids, and it's sort of like that um, Reese's commercial, right? Where they oh. had the chocolate bumping into the peanut butter, and you yeah. have you have the ice cream bumping in uh, to the donut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had a lot of fun practicing oh, that and making it. <laughs> so cute. And the funny thing is you're up against another Simcoe County resident. I know. It is funny. Um, I guess she's from Oro. Um, we obviously haven't met yet, but we will tomorrow. Yeah, so, so she's got um, chocolate, uh, like a brownie with scores. Mm -hmm. pieces in it. So what do you think your chances are? Well, I think they're pretty good um, because our, our donut is so unique. It's got some really nice flavors in it, but not anything similar to what Tim Hortons already has going on. Um, and so just, I, I, I don't know. I think it's, I think we're pretty pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Last year, a Londoner was in the final too. So you never know, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that. The Oreo Borealis. I remember the name. Yeah. It was so cool. We just love yeah. our donuts. So Jen, um, okay. let me know how this goes. Oh, thank you. Uh, we've will. got our fingers crossed for both of you. Both you thank and you Carol. So All right, Nancy. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, bye. Bye, thank you. Jen Veenblatt lives in Barrie. She is one of two Simcoe County residents who are in the final eight in Tim Horton's Dueling Donuts contest. Nancy Angus of Oro Medanti um, has that other donut with the score and brownie in it. So good luck to both of you. That is our show for today. Thanks for sharing part of your morning with us. I'm Wei Chan.